read BBS, BBS, Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Tell a beast, y'all. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. Street Jesus. The Lord of the Slums. The Roberto Duran. The Mano de Piedras of mixed martial arts. I'm talking about the baddest motherfucker in UFC. <laughs> you don't believe me? He's got a belt to prove it. Presented to him by none other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes, sir. UFC 244 prominently, and I mean prominently displayed behind me. Masvidal versus Diaz. Uh, what an event it was. Of course, I watched it. I was there at Hooters. They show live pay-per-views to Hooters in my neighborhood. I also had my phone checking out Canelo Kovalev on the zone. But I digress. Masvidal Diaz is what you call a one-sided action fight. You know, we didn't know which way it would go. We had feelings that Masvidal was a little more lively and spry, despite being slightly older, uh, taking less abuse and punishment, just more of a shelf life left in him than Diaz in that came to the fore. Uh, he was too dynamic. He was too fresh. He was too athletic. Too gangster for Nate, I would even say, when all is said and done. Uh, Conor McGregor, Showtime Pettis, you know, they had athletic advantages over Nate as well, but what they lacked was this sense of malice that Masvidal has in him, man. It, it's a facet of his game. It's that Roberto Duran in him. He can just go to a different and almost animalistic level that some of these other guys, they just can't match. It's an edge that McGregor and Pettis both uh, sorely lack in comparison. Uh, the very first exchange of the fight, it was a microcosm of the whole fight his damn self. Uh, they clinched up. Masvidal fired a knee, like a right knee. Two elbows to the head. <clears throat> then Nate either was dropped from that or was dipping down to find a safe haven on the ground. And whop, he got kicked in the grill. Right from there, he's bleeding. Right out, right from the rip, he's bleeding. That was a, that was a microcosm of the fight itself. Masvidal getting the better of him in the stand-up. Doing work on Nate when he was on the ground. Like He almost looked like he was going to get a ground-and-pound stoppage in the first. But, of course, Nate rolled with it. Tough dude. Uh, durable as ever <clears throat> you know Nate got his licks in and at one point he even threatened with a little heel hook he didn't quite get it all the way cinched in but it was enough to get the crowd like oh, oh, oh here we go here we go uh, beyond that though Nate was he was sorely sorely outgunned it was just just different levels man different levels now that said in the moment in the moment I thought the fight should have been allowed to uh, continue despite the cut in mixed martial arts, there's more ways to defend and to win. So with that, I think more leeway should accompany that in terms of if you're cut, especially if you have a history of cutting and a history of turning the tide like Nate does. But then you see those post-fight picks and the number of stitches. And I mean, Dana White himself, who questioned it, he was like, hey, they would have let this fight go in Vegas. Remember the Tyson Fury cut, you know, which was similar, if not as bad. This, of course, being in New York, so their commission was a little more leery. Nonetheless, Dana White even backtracked off of his initial comments of the fight being stopped too early. Once he saw the amount of stitches in the, the post-fight pictures and stuff. Uh, all in all, I don't think Nate was going to turn the tide. And I don't think he could do much different in a rematch with Masvidal either, just being honest. Uh, Masvidal, he was pissed at the insinuation that he was gassing and he would have been there for the taking late, which is what, you know, a lot of Nate fans are clinging to. That's the whole premise of a rematch in their mind. Hey, man, Nate, you know, he's a five-round fighter. And I think Nate even said he wasn't quite able to do the road work that he was accustomed to, which may have contributed. I don't really think so. This was all about Masvidal, man. Three violent stoppages in 2019. I'm talking Darren Till, Ben Askren. And now a bloodbath against Nate Diaz. Phenomenal year for my man. And the world, the mixed martial arts world, is his fucking oyster right now. He's the mandatory for the uh, Usman Covington title fight. 
He could take that shot at the winner. Uh, he's got the rematch with Nate sitting there. Personally, if it happens, it happens. I would rather it be like a co-main event versus a standalone main event like like it was in this case. It's just it's going to be more of the same probably even earlier. Nate's going to bleed again. Masvidal's going to piece him up. He's going to be too dynamic a striker for him. And, yeah, that's just – uh, you got McGregor. He's tweeting now. He's calling uh, Masvidal the Burger King and even ordered a three-piece and a soda. Masvidal's one of them dudes, man. He's like, look, I don't like to flirt back and forth online with dudes. If you want to do this, let's do this. I think Masvidal, just like Conor learned with Khabib, some dudes, man, you don't you don't poke and prod some bears because some bears will, uh, will attack. And Masvidal will be that dude. If they ever got in the cage him and Conor, that would not, that would not, in well, not for McGregor. And I like Connor too, but choose your battles carefully, bruh. Uh, Masvidal, he's, he's also talked about Canelo Alvarez. And obvious, uh, obviously he's influenced by the Floyd Connor McGregor fight, and why wouldn't he be? That's Connor's biggest payday to date in uh, combat sports. So Masvidal, he's open to that. He's open to anything. He did say he's going to uh, take some time off looking to return by about April of 2020, he's got to heal his hands because he's been putting them upside people's heads all of 2019. Heal his body a little bit, just recharge his batteries, you know. Uh, speaking of Canelo, he fought the same night as UFC 244, but he was made to, oh, he was put on weight. Uh, he was made to wait, I should say, put on hold, placed on the shelf. He was paused as the main event happened. So Masvidal and Diaz is fighting in their footage of Canelo sitting in his dressing room. The whole MGM crowd is waiting for this fight to get finished in New York because an MGM exec apparently called Dana White personally and got his permission. So Dana was like, fuck it, okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is the year, man. This is the year for Jorge Masvidal. 16 documented years as a professional. Who knows how many Kimbo Slice backyard events he did. Countless street fights. So it's just, it's just good to see Masvidal's commitment, his hustle, and his struggle rewarded like this finally with this uh, mainstream attention, man. Real talk, Masvidal. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television to Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.